Apple reported first quarter revenue of USD $90.8 billion, down 4% compared to the previous year, reflecting ongoing growth challenges, particularly in China. CEO Tim Cook attributed this decline to the global economic climate and heightened competition, resulting in a net income drop to USD $23.6 billion. However, amidst this downturn, the company unveiled a groundbreaking USD $110 billion share buyback program, signaling confidence in its long-term growth prospects. The lukewarm reception for the iPhone 15 lineup, released in September, led to a 10% drop in iPhone sales, totaling USD $45.96 billion in revenue. This decline mirrors broader challenges in the smartphone market, especially in China, where local brands like Huawei and Xiaomi are gaining momentum, posing stiff competition to Apple. While iPhone sales dipped, other product categories showed mixed results. Mac sales increased by 4% to USD $7.5 billion, and the services segment surpassed expectations with USD $23.9 billion in revenue. However, the wearables, home and accessories category, including AirPods and the Apple Watch, fell short of estimates, generating USD $7.91 billion in revenue. Apple unveiled its largest ever share buyback plan, totaling USD $110 billion, demonstrating confidence in its financial strength and commitment to shareholder value. Despite challenges, CEO Tim Cook emphasized optimism for future growth, highlighting strategic investments in AI and teasing upcoming product launches, fueling anticipation for Apple's resurgence in the market. While Apple faces hurdles in China due to economic instability and growing nationalistic sentiment, signs of recovery are emerging, with iPhone sales up in mainland China in the latest quarter. Despite fluctuations in stock price, Apple's resilience and market capitalization of USD 2.6 trillion underscore its ability to weather challenges and maintain its position as a global technology leader. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.